Hi, in the last video we will talk about how to set up video surveillance system with more than 100 IP cameras. We have briefly go through what we need for the whole system. The first equipment is the cameras. This is the pan tail zoom camera. You can pan tail and zoom. It, you can see the size is pretty large. Usually we will deploy this large camera outside perimeter. This is the mini compact camera. You may need this camera inside, such like the hotel. You don't want to place a lot of large camera inside, otherwise the customer will think they're walking into a prison. This is the camera with the motorized zoom. You can zoom in and zoom out. The key to choose the camera is you need to understand there are always trade-off between the detail of the object and the view of the view. If you want to see large angle, large area, you need to sacrifice the detail of the object. If you want to have the facial record, like seeing the facial and recognize the person, you need to focus on using the zoom function. Just put all the focus on the single spot, like the entrance. When the people walk in or out, it's going to catch the detail of the person. Here we got the network infrastructure. This is the edge switch. We're supposed to have a multiple edge switch. We are talking about more than 100 cameras here. It's impossible to pull the cable from the camera directly to the center. Let's say if we were tail floor, probably we need tail POE switch. Each floor with each one switch. From this switch, we use the KFIE or K6 Ethernet cable to connect to this IP camera. The POE switch will supply power to the camera, there's no need for power source. From this edge switch, I use the fiber optic cable. I prefer the fiber optic cable. The reason is because the fiber optic cable can provide fast speed, low latency, and long distance connection. Moreover, the size of the cable is more small than this K5 or K6 Ethernet cable. So it's more easier to pull the cable from the edge to the center. This is, these two are the cable connecting to the network video recorder. That's the reason why we are seeing the camera live. And I use this industry Great network switch is supply redundancy power source. I use two, two power source to power this switch. If one of the power, power supply go down, the network switch is still working. Also, the, PO, the industry grade switch is more reliable. But the one thing, we are talking about more than 100 cameras. Can we just keep the linked and pull up the whole system? Physically, we have linked all the edge switch to the center switch but we also need to configure the central switch to shake the traffic. You see, we have multiple cameras, more than 100 coming from the edge and landing to this central switch. If we don't shake the traffic, we may get the traffic jam in this switch. Let's say if there are one, that this is the cable, cable linking from the first floor. Let's say if there are 24 cameras and land to this switch, it will try to find the output port it doesn't know which, which port, which NVI should go to. So we ask in all the port. It will be the same for the cable from the second floor. So in this case, it will make this industry grid switch become very cloud. Eventually, we could get the traffic jam. We will need to use one basic function, VLAN, virtual LAN, to shade the traffic. Just tell the switch, all the data from the first floor only go to the first network video recorder. From there, like from this cable, so if the cable is coming from the second floor, the camera from the second floor, just go to the second network video recorder. That would be nice, right? So eventually, we, we divide the switch into different sections. One first, first port will go to the first NVR, the second port will go to the second NVR. They, between this NVR, this link, they're not going to see each other. This is what the VLAN can do. VLAN is just like the, we say it's a, a room number. You create different VLAN and assign the port to the VLAN. Only the port with the same VLAN, they will see each other. If, this, like, if the port, two ports, they belong to different VLAN, they're not going to see each other. The data will not cross, cross each other. All right, now let me just put up the PC and connect to the this code switch, make a quick demonstration how to configure the VLAN. It's quite simple actually. First, let's create VLAN 101 for the first floor. This will be the VLAN handling the 
data from the first row also connect to the first MVR. Now let me assign the, the port from the first row to VLAN 101. It will be the in port number 11. We only need to run several commands. We set to access mode, and we now reset the access VLAN 101. OK, once I set, I mean send the, set the input port to VLAN 101, we we'll lose the video. That's common, because now we have tell the, all the data from the first floor belong to VLAN 101. We are not going to see the video on the network video recorder. The reason is because we didn't configure the output port. I mean, the cable coming from the MVR to VLAN 101 too. OK, now let's move back. I also need to configure the, the port belong to the MVR to VLAN 101. Okay, now let's just wait for a while. What I've done is, first, I make the input port to show on VLAN 101. Now I also make the output port, the port linking to the network video recorder, also belong to VLAN 101. So at this moment, before, between the input and output, also belong to VLAN 101. So we are seeing the live video again. It seems no different after I change, but actually they are a bit different. The, sec the switch on the second floor, they are not going to see anything from the first floor, because I just shake the traffic, tell the switch, only the VLAN 101 will see each other. If we have multiple floor, what I need to do is just repeat what I have just done, create different VLAN, the first floor for VLAN 101, 102 for second floor, 1314, and assign the MVR to this VLAN, so they were going not, they are not going to see each other. This is the way to simplify the whole system. Even you have 100 IP gamma, 200, 300, there's no problem. Because each of the floor, we're working with single network video recorder, and they're not going to see each other, even from the code switch. So there's no traffic jam, change, there are no broadcasting stones. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, Please post in comment section below. See you next time.